Oh, we got it. Come on, please be strong. Please be strong. Go! Go! Recently, we got some great buffs to the middle pass super monkey, and I think it's gonna make it a great chimps candidate. And to test this theory, we're gonna be playing it on an advanced map on chimps mode. Now, unfortunately, the middle pass price didn't go down, so it's still very expensive. It's ninety-seven thousand dollars. But the third tier Robo Monkey has decreased a thousand bucks. And what really is going to stand this out and make this a crazy chimp strategy is going to be the fact that our abilities damage on the 050 has increased from 5200 to 10,400. That's a lot. And its crit damage increased from 7800 to 15,600. Now, is that going to be enough to make this the power tower of the late rounds? I do hope so. Now, on a map like this, it's going to be a lot of setup, but I'm thinking our great thing to go for is going to be some discount villages to get our super monkey as cheap as we possibly can. And just recently, I learned an amazing strategy from Supreme Avocado. He used it to beat chimps mode with a super mines. Now, we're thinking 97,000 for our little super is a lot, but he did it with a super mines, which is $135,000 on chimps mode. That's madness. And and he did it with some basic towers and not spending any money. So I'm going to try to adopt that strategy on this harder map and hope that we can get through it. Now with any map like this, it's proper setup that's going to see us through to the end. So we are going to need a little more towers than I'm going to want to use up in the beginning right here. But I think our sniper is going to help us out a lot. And then I'm thinking we can go straight for our Oban. Now I chose Oban as our hero since we are using a super monkey that is magic. And Oban does buff magic monkeys. I'm going to put him right here because his range... He doesn't really need to be like facing down the track. His little wolf ghost just flies everywhere. So that's good. So now my next step is I do want to start getting discount villages early. It might be a bad play to be honest, but I kind of need the money. We need the money. Like we need to save every dollar we can possibly get. I would prefer not to buy anything outside of the village, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm going to use my brambles here because it looks like those yellows are getting a little crazy. Now, unfortunately, it looks even with all this, it still looks a little scary. So we're going to grab some twin guns here just to be safe. Can we get it? Okay. That was a last. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. But we have our brambles here now just so I always do this I always make this fatal error I try to save money or make money in the beginning and farm too hard in regular modes things like that but you just can't sometimes like you just got to play your cards right and not get wrecked but you know I'm gonna do it I'm gonna buy it anyway because I'm silly but now with monkey commerce we should be able to buy this tower a little cheaper than it should be which is nice so we'll place it how about back here it's better to have it in the back but see what I'm going for it's gonna be great since the super monkey's range is just ridiculous, it's gonna like shoot this entire area and, wah, 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 and just defeat everything. Meanwhile, this thing will help break things open if they're a little too tough. So yeah, it'd be smarter to place it at the back, but we're not gonna be doing any of that. 36 I know is gonna be a problem. I think we should get air burst starts just to be on the safe side. I think it's gonna be a very helpful tower. We should do something about camo too, but I guess I'll do it later. But I think our next step is getting our first sniper. And if you didn't see the video where Supreme beat chimps with super mines, he used by the end of it, three separate bouncing bullet snipers with bottom path, and they're alchemisted. And those alone were able to hold up so much along with these spiked balls over here. It was crazy. Because he went with the bottom path of all things. So what we're going to try to attempt here, pop open the moab with our spike balls. And then I, I'm going to bramble too. Why would he bramble down there? What are you doing? And then we'll clean it up with our bouncing bullets, hopefully. Yes? Oh, that thing's actually really good. Those are really good. But I think we have enough love here that we can finally start getting our double discounts. And we'll get the bigger radius on this one and the jungle drums. That should be good. We're cutting it to the wire, but I think once we get this guy to Berserker Brew, we'll be okay. Look at these guys go. And then we can finally buy our faster production and even faster production because we have a times two discount now. That thing's crazy. Now, I am going to go with one more sniper before we get our first super monkey because this is what he did and it worked. So I don't want to lose because he did this on one, two, three. We're doing it on an advanced map, so I'm a little nervous because we don't have the same time frame of like attacking balloons before they get to the end of the track. We have to do this pretty quickly. And since we're going to have massive, I'm talking massive range with this guy, we should be good to go. Like that's a, it's not the best spot obviously, but like I think it is because once he uses his massive range, it's going to get ridiculous, right? So let's put him like right here in the middle. We're going to go laser blast, plasma blast, super range. And I'm hoping epic range goes above this little bend or I, I messed up. Oh, that's good enough. Yeah, it's great. It's perfect. Now, the reason why we put the spikes here next to our super and not next to the back like you would normally put spikes is because I'm hoping that he helps break down Moab class if we have some issues and then he can just clean up whatever's underneath. Look at our Robo Monkey being $1,000 cheaper. That's definitely going to help us. And I don't know why you'd ever put it on last. So I'm going to put it on strong just to take down everything in my face. And then we're going to have Oban be like a last case scenario right here in case we're struggling with his trees. We can just go bloop 
Now the last thing I need to buy is some camo because this super cannot see camo, but now he can. He should be good. We should be good for a while. Now he upgraded to spike mines to get to all the way to that end, but that's $10,000 and I have a super. So I think we should be okay. But here's 63, can we handle it? Oh my gosh, it didn't even get to the tree? And only at round 70, we're getting the tech tear. And I love this guy. He is one of my favorite towers just because the little noise he makes when you, let's turn on the sound. When you hit the ability, it goes wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I love that. I just think that's the coolest sound in the game. Does the anti-tech tear sound even cooler? I have never, I don't think I've ever gotten that tower because of its price. But now with this like elite strat, this strategy is genius. I don't know how he comes up with this stuff, but I would never go with the bottom path even faster firing. Wouldn't you naturally just go with the top path? It's so weird, but it's so cool. Here we go, 78. Wah, wah, wah. I never get tired of that. I think it's the coolest sound. Here's our first 80 ZOMG and it looks like it, nothing's gotten into my trees yet. As you can see, nothing came out of them, but okay, finally, finally on round 80, we got something that went into our trees. So we might have to fight a little bit, but he still has this entire range to take things out. There's not a chance, but, 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 big butt here. We still need $60,000. Look how much damage those snipers do before it even gets to the tech tear. That's wicked. Now we have two ZOMGs. I'm not a tech terror expert. So I would ask myself, do I tech terror now while there's still ZOMGs or do I wait for the cleanup? I think he just doesn't really matter. He's just going to destroy it either. Oh my goodness. This tower is OP. Now I know the snipers are like, look at this right now. Look at this. We got 125,000, 131,000 and 265. So he's clearly like better tower, obviously. But these snipers are nothing to laugh at with our alchemist buddies buffing them up. This is sweet. And those crits are ridiculous. Has it always been that much crits? I need to use this tower more for, okay, nope. Talking too much praise on you, buddy. I let your head get too big there, Mr. Tech Terry. You gotta start doing some more damage here. Are we gonna make it all the way to the 97,000 with that kind of attitude? Maybe we do need spiked mines, that's $10,000. Let's just get rid of that stuff like that. Oh, the DDTs though. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no. It's not enough? 89 is our downfall? So do we spend 10,000 on spiked mines or do we get another sniper team? Because those snipers are great. I, I don't know, let's, let's, uh, we're already on round 90. I'm thinking a slowdown tower could be cool too, like a glue gunner. Let's put a glue gunner in range of the village with a little discount here and see if that could do the damage. That's a lot less money than the big dog, $10,000. And I think it'll do more damage than the sniper because the snipers, you know, they're great, but they're not great Moab killers. Okay, so far so good. Are we gonna take them all out? So our spikes are getting to the end. Like that's pretty scary. And I wanna save all of my abilities for 90. I think we can just tree up the DDTs, like just real simple. Yeah, but I don't even think we needed them. That was great, okay? So the glue gunner will restart. Oh my God, I went down to Relentless? Oh, you big dumb idiot. I spent like an extra, what, how much money is that? $3,200? That sets me back a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna tech tear the heck out of this stuff now. Might as well get the glue splatter and just go crazy with it. I think I blew my whole strategy here because I could have just bought the spikes for that much. And then at last second, I can go like this. Okay, so he'll take down anything that's a BFB. So BFBs are no longer. We just got to get the ZOMGs down to them. Or the tree's going to be enough. Trees, trees, trees. Okay, let's just use the trees. Let's just use them. I think we need to buy this glue splatter here. I just don't think it's enough. And then we need to wow, wow, wow all this, unfortunately. Bramble it to why the heck not. We're not going to be able to take all this stuff down. Do we need spiked mines? Is that what we're saying here? Something come back in time. Something. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. We're not losing. We're not losing. $10,000. Here we go. Let's blow some more money. Stupid relentless glue. Who did? Whose idea was that? Are these things good? No. Are the spike mines or no? I'm like kind of confused like how they're good they're doing. But we need to wham 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 here in a second. Now. Oh, that wasn't enough. That's not going to work. Not going to work at all. Oh my goodness. So we've added another sniper instead. So now we have three of these bad boys just shooting as much as they can. I think we should get the glue splatter too. I screwed up getting relentless, shouldn't have done that. But would it have mattered though? The extra three grand would have really made a difference at this point. I don't think so. So let's just use it and go with it. Now it looks like we're doing a lot better so far. Okay, let's tree those ones. And then I think we can take down one ZOMG. Okay, oh my gosh, that was close. That was super close. Now my trick up my sleeve for this one, if it doesn't work out, just, you know, off the go. I think, I think it'll be fine, honestly. But if it's not, I think we're gonna use a ninja, middle path ninja. Maybe it's not good enough. Oh my gosh, dude, you, you suck. You really suck, oh my gosh. Unfortunately, we have to do this. We have to go all the way to balloon sabotage and drop our money down even more. So we'll do this, slow everything down. 
those fortified mobs that really put up the fight, I feel like. DDTs are easy. And then now that's slowed down. We're good. We're good. Oh my gosh. Might not have needed to use my tech tear. That'd be great. That'd be great. Can you clean those up on your own, buddy? You got to be kidding me. Like you literally had one job at that point. So clearly that is the answer is using the sabotage. We'll let it go now. Okay. So hopefully it'll regenerate by 96 because uh, 30, $37,000 in five rounds. Let's do it guys. Let's do it. Let's get this chimps mode done. And then we can probably take these. I would hope Oh, we didn't last time. I know, but like, okay, let's just use it now. Let's just screw it. Screw it. Just, just use it. I think we're dead. We're uh, geez, this far into the game. So I've added a shattering shells. We're just spending money here, but I think we could maybe make it work. Hopefully. Cause we could just tech tear these guys the last second if we need to, but we might not even need to. We're taking them out pretty well, honestly. It's this guy. He's just too good, isn't he? And I think we could slow him down from here to help out. This could work. Maybe, maybe, of course not. So I'm thinking we'll just slow it down first so we can get all the big ones out of the way. So then we could just kill the ZOMGs last and not have to worry about a big bunch of DDT or BFBs and ZOMGs. That'd be bad. I'm going to brambles. That's going to help for sure, honestly. And I've moved him to close and first, hoping that like it'll just take care of everything. But if we can go to strong now and get rid of those ZOMGs before we use our ability, we might be able to take this out. Come on, come on. Come on, take him out, take him out. Oh my gosh, we might actually get this. Can you get him? Dude, 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 no chance, no chance. There's no way we can get these fortifieds though. No way, we slow them down if we can. No! I will not lie to you, it has been a battle. A very, very long battle. I think I'm an hour and a half past that last part where I lost. I have tried so many different iterations and I realized the main crucial part that I messed up. It was Geraldo that helped him through the entire thing because my boy Jerry knows how to party and he has all these little fire things, these pickle juices, these sharpening stones, the genies, the whole nine yards. So that's what is helping us get through this thing. Now, all I need it's 97,200. We are on the cusp and this is 98, the worst round in the world. And if we can't get it, oh, we got it. Come on, please be strong. Please be strong. Go, 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 finally, finally. Where's your pickle juice? Do you need it? We'll give you some pickle juice. Oh my God, you have no idea what this means to me. But I didn't get a camo village this time. I didn't get a lot of things that I thought I needed last time. You better pop him. Okay, okay, take down the bad. Oh my goodness, we can just use the heart thingy too. We have definitely beat this. We, we have genies, we have the whole nine yards, but I think I can just destroy him. Oh, that's pretty good, That's pretty. but we can do this again and then just go. Oh my God, the tech tear. <laughs> if you can't tell by my voice, I've been trying this for hours and it didn't work out, but we did it. Round 100 with the tech terror on this map. I think we can take it even further too. I love Geraldo guys. I'm gonna use him so much more because the thing that was happening was that it's cheaper to buy a couple chili peppers than it is to buy an entire brand new tower, like a sabotage ninja or like an icicles or something like that. You just use your guy and you keep on trucking. It is beautiful. Look at him go. We can just tech tear anything that scares us. We can throw down our genie. This thing will last a few rounds, I hope. 103. Really? Really? We had some extra money, but I'm just glad we made it there. Definitely try to use him and let me know below what maps you've used the anti-tech terror on. I think this is a great tower and I hope I can use it more. I just have to get better at using Geraldo because he is a tough hero to learn well, I guess. Tough hero to learn well. But if you enjoyed that, then definitely check out this video where Supreme managed to get the super mines on chimps mode using the one, two, three and its discounts. You gotta see how he did it. It's madness.